Hey Glow Beauties! I've got a haul and it ain't no ordinary haul. It is the Toronto one of a kind show haul. I'm bagging, unboxing. It's gonna have a, be a fun time. So move over Sephora. We're gonna have to let you chill and sit for a little while because we gotta do the Toronto one of a kind show. And the thing is, it used to be called the Toronto One of a Kind Craft Show, but I think they dropped the craft because it kind of sounded a little too crafty. Because this really is a show that brings like a mecca of all throughout Canada, all the artists and artisanry, and bring it into one show boy, and look at what is happening throughout Canada with the artists and artisans going on. You get a taste of so much. It is really quite an experience. It happens twice a year. I actually didn't realize that it happened twice a year because the show has been going on for 25 years. In the beginning, I used to go almost every year I won't tell you how long it's been that I have not gone for because it would date myself. I found out this time around that they actually now do it twice a year in spring and in fall. And in fall they have the perfect timing, the marketers know what they're doing, at the end of November so that we can get all these beautiful handcrafted, handmade, boutique unique, one-of-a-kind gifts for your loved ones and maybe even for yourself. It's just a wonderful way and I, I just felt inspired to go because I hadn't gone in so long and I just remember, oh my gosh, the One of a Kind wow. show. And it had been so long that I wanted to see the fresh artists that are there and the ones that have been well established that are there. So it's quite a lot of fun. And in fact, I literally didn't even get to see the whole show yet. And I ended up going twice. I didn't plan on going twice, but something happened. And the nice thing about the show is when you pay for it, you get stamped. And when you leave, you can get your card. You can fill out a card that allows you to come in again next day, you know, next time, a second time for free, which is wonderful because I almost didn't do that. They put it on the announcement as I had left the show, gone into the washroom, but it was close by the entrance and I heard the announcement say that you could do this and I ran back and did it. Even though I had no plans to go again, but there was a reason why something happened and I had to go back the next day. So, and even in going there twice, I still hadn't managed to be able to see, make my full rounds through the whole show. Because literally it is huge. Another thing about it, is that when you go there and you're going to the booth, even if you're not buying, you're talking to the artisans, you're talking to the artists, you're getting their backstory, you're getting their inspiration, you're getting, you're getting to talk about what they do and ooh, ooh and ah and chat about it and you create a vibe with each one. It's, it's not something that you can just go and check out the booth and walk out. You really want to talk to the people. It takes time and it's interesting and it's fun and you learn a lot and so it takes me a lot of time to get through the show. So I probably got through about three quarters of the way or maybe Two thirds of the way. Two thirds, I think, is more accurate. Sorry, Sephora, we won't have to do you another day, okay? Because we are doing the one of a kind show today. So, without further ado, let us get in. Just to give you a quick little background, too, the one of a kind show, it runs the whole gamut of food, delectables, gourmand, sweets, jewelry perfumery, body care, paintings, prints, clothing, knitwear, leatherware, glassware. It runs the whole gamut. To get started, let me start with, I'm not doing it in any order, okay? Because this was not the first booth. I will tell you about the first booth because it has a store behind it. But this one I got, this is Love Fresh. I think this was on my first visit, Love Fresh. And this is a Lux body care company based in Toronto. They hand make everything. Founder is Stacy Davis. They do body like, oops, scrubs body butters, lotion. Oh, and they do baby care too. So I picked up, because 
I fall in love with scrubs now. I discovered the 10 spot. Actually, that was my first scrub. I couldn't resist and I picked up Love Fresh Lemon Verbena Sugar Scrub. Uh, they call it the gommage. So I really love it is made of obviously of sugar. It has some really good ingredients in here. It has sugar, coconut oil, cocoa butter, beeswax, vitamin E, essential oils. I have tried this. What would I say? It's not a dry one where it's just kind of the sugar, right? It is in a, almost a pasty format and the scent is delicious. I love lemon verbena. The other one that I, I really would have wanted to, but they didn't make it, is in the water lily. And I picked up the water lily butter. butter. But the lemon verbena is one of my favorite scents in body products. It is delicious. It smells so wonderful. It leaves your bathroom smelling wonderful. This is very effective. When I finished, you get this nice oil left on you, like balmy oil left on you. So when you dry your body, I still dry after I do a scrub, but when I dry, I don't rub my skin to leave that oil left behind. And then I slap on the water lily butter and mwah, you are like a little gourmand creme. Brûlé. <laughs> so, but this smells so good. Oh my God. They could make perfumes and everything out of this. This water lily, oh my God. It smells like a flower, but not like, um, you know, the stinky kind of harsh, sharp flower. It is smooth. It is soft. It is lovely. And this all over your body. It's not gonna be overpowering, but you're gonna just smell divine. So I love this. And this one has coconut, sunflower, and jojoba oil, beeswax, so it leaves that nice bomb, aloe vera, chamomile, white willow bark, so it is gonna do a little minor exfoliation with the white willow bark. And calendula, it has lactobacillus ferment, which is very good for the skin, this is what the Koreans use, and it has red clover in it. This is what proves to you that you should always check your labels because red clover is really good, but it has an estrogen quality to it. It's great for the skin because it helps to trick the skin to act more youthful with the estrogenic quality in red clover. However, people that who have feminine cancers running in their family like breast, ovarian, uterine, it is not a good idea to be putting red clover on you and especially not all over your body. So this is what um, is a really good example about always read your labels because you just never know. Me though, I love my red clover so I'm super happy to have it because if I want a trick, I'm going through a little bit of the changeover so I want to have some red clover to boost up my estrogen levels so I'm actually super happy it's in here. So the next one I picked up is Uni. This is a natural skincare studio. They do a full line of skincare products and they're based in Toronto on Kingston Road. They are natural. They, they put a lot of oils in their products, so they like to use coconut, jojoba, and sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn has high in vitamin C. Also, they like to use AHAs and the new exfoliant, which is gentler and milder, but effective, PHA. So they're putting that in their products. And I picked up their soap now, and this is lavender soap, and it has a cute little grainy thing see there yeah so this is what I picked up and it's lavender it's natural and what they do cure it for a number of weeks the longer you cure it the harder the soap is going to be and therefore it's going to last a lot longer so this is a nice hard soap. I'm looking forward to enjoying this. I love lavender soaps. I love handmade soap. The thing is, because the Wonderful Kind Show can be a bit expensive, I decided to be very strategic about my purchases because it's expensive there. So I chose products that are going to be a little bit more reachable and affordability, okay? So I had 
a strategy in mind. This one's called A Day and it's another soap. Yes, I'm into soaps and body care. I love it that much. These are cold pressed soaps. It's a cold press company. They're handmade in small batches. They are located in Oshawa and they cure their soap for four weeks. So they're semi-hard, not as hard as the other one. They also have a little front store, so they sell a whole bunch of other things like body scrubs, deodorants, mineral baths. They sell on Etsy, you can find them on IG. A lot of these companies you can find on IG. So here's this one, this is a lovely one. And they sell at also, there is a beautiful spa result called St. Anne's super expensive, super bougie, and their products are sold there, and this is called the 80, 80 Body Care. And this one, <laughs> lavender and lemongrass. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. So I picked that up. This is perfume, and I love it because they put their, not their logo, but their saying all over the wrap, which says share, be beautiful, Love, forgive. There's another one here that says give, pray. So it's all on here. They're based in Alberta, Canada. One of the cold prairie provinces. Her, the founder's name is Janie Ganson and she has a partner who is located in Grasse, France, who is the nose of the company. And Janie Ganson is the founder and CEO. The company is called My Daughter, My Daughter Fragrances. And the thing is, I was at the show the second time and I went to the particular booth that I needed to go to and then when I turned around and was walking down the aisle, I banged into this. The first thing I saw was my daughter always loved and that really spoke to me. That just kind of jumped out at me because my mom went to heaven this year and this was literally like as if she was giving me a hug from heaven and I really needed it. And what I didn't know is that on the back of it, it says here, my daughter, a perfume full of wishes and butterfly kisses, you are always loved. Love, mom. I didn't know that that was on the back. There is a backstory to why there is a particular butterfly that represents her. I had no idea that that saying was on, that little love note was on the back of it. It's pretty amazing because this jumped out at me. And it's so beautifully packaged. It has hearts at the back. There is the beautiful bottle. And then when you pull the beautiful bottle out, there's hearts in the back there, which I didn't know. This is a beautiful scent. Always Loved is of a rose scent, but it's rounded out to make it a little fuller and a little bit spicier. It has Turkish Rose Absolute, Bulgarian Rose Oil, Cocoa Absolute, mixed with elements of vertiver, patchouli, cedar, and coffee, so it gives it a rather earthier round scent, and that is so true. I'm not completely into rose, but when it's made into kind of a fuller scent, it's amazing, and of course, I'm always gonna be wearing this because this is my from my mom. To me, this is from my mom. This so. is always gonna be very, 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 very special to me. And they had a little special that when you got this, they gave you two of the travel sizes to go with it. And you can pick what you wanted in the two travel sizes. They have about five cents. They come in like this, and each one has a little love note on them too. So it's very, very precious. This one is called My Wild. This love note says, May your feet lead you where your heart wants to be. Stay wild. And this one, Bloom 23, says, I celebrate the day you were born. Isn't that beautiful? Let me tell you some of the notes on this one. My, my wild is sweet, bright, creamy, strawberry notes. Sweet is from pink pepper and juniper, and that's what kind of opens it, and then the drying down has frankincense, cedar, and vanilla. This one sounds really good. And then this one here, Bloom 23. This one is a gardenia flower makes up the fragrance heart, rounded with rich vanilla, 
Lang Lang, clean, clear, and light, a pristine scent to make one's own. So these are the other two. Let me see whether I can smell it again. I think I like this one the most out of the two of them. And now, of course, I can't smell it because I've got my always loved one on. Everything is very lovingly done right down to the, the paper that they wrap it in. Very thoughtful, very beautiful. I went to this booth. It was so sweet. They have these wall plaques. And this one caught my eye because so many times when I'm going around doing my business, doing my errands and everything, people tell me that I... I just have this happen to me. People tell me that I kind of look like a unicorn. I think that it's because my shadow. I wear color a lot. I don't like to wear black. And so people in Toronto, they don't wear a lot of color. I think I kind of stand out a little. <laughs> so I thought this was very apropos. It says, be a unicorn in a field of horses. And I saw this on Instagram. I, not this, but I saw the quote. And then I saw it again here and I thought, yes, I gotta have this. So I picked this up and this is by a company called Urban Nest Decor. They do a lot of these kind of things for children's rooms and babies rooms. They do do adult things too, but I am a bit of a child at heart. So I'm still happy to have it because I don't care whether it's for babies. Just like wearing, I like to sometimes wear men's perfume. I'm okay with this. To round out the unicorn theme, I'll pick this up. This is a headband, so if I'm ever doing get ready with me's or even skincare videos, this is my unicorn headband. This was like my last pickup just before they closed and I saw this and it just looked so hilarious and so cute. I couldn't resist. This one is by, her name is Ninetta. Palpet, palpetta hair accessories totally cute she's on instagram so go check her out she has them in all different colors i just happened to pick this one up that rounds out my unicorn theme and i am a happy camper there's a reason why i ended up coming to the craft sh the one of a kind show again and that is this this was on my first day there this was the first booth I went to, and this is Tabitha. It's, her company is called Dolce Artist, and she does beautiful hand-drawn, painted watercolor prints. This was the first thing that I saw when I walked into the one of a kind. This was the first booth I stopped at. They both jumped out at me. Sometimes grief hits you in the oddest times. You never know when it's gonna hit you. And whilst I was on the streetcar, going to this happy fair was when grief hit me. And I started to kind of cry a little bit. I miss my mom and feel sorry for myself at the same time. And you're allowed to do that when you lose a very special person in your life. So this one really kind of jumped out at me and this is a, the C.S. Lewis one. And this says, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. This really touched my heart. Tabitha is doing a beautiful thing. She also does for like weddings and invitations and everything, but she does these beautiful encouraging quotes and scriptures. God really guides her hand because he guided this to me when I really needed it the most. And I, I kind of told her, I didn't tell her completely the backstory. I just told her I was going through a little bit of a hard time and this really touched my heart. And she was so touched by it. Then I picked up this one which is another one that I really need to learn on many levels and that is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight so that is Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 this I really need because I'm going through a time and a half right now where I really need to kind of hold on to God, trust his direction, trust where I'm going, trust where he's leading me to, and just trust him through this time. So these really touched my heart. The thing is, is that when you're going through 
the show. There's a little story time to this. So I carry a special, like um, a shopping bag in my purse that I can fold up very flat and keep in my bat, li my little um, backpack purse. When I'm going to the booth and looking at things or if I'm purchasing stuff, I had to put, I had this in my hand and I kept on saying, you know, I, sh I should pull out my shopping bag and put it in there. But I'm going, but it's just a light little thing. Why do I want to do it right away? So I didn't. So I kept on carrying it like this around. So when I was going to a little booth that I might want something and I was purchasing this, then I'd have to put this down to get my bag out. There isn't really that much countertop space where you can put anything down. So in the process of doing this over and over again and not heeding my gut when it said to put this in your shopping bag, by the time I did so after purchasing a number of things, this got lost in the shuffle. I lost it. And Tabitha said that she got frames for these at chapters in the Indigo bookstore. And I was planning on going to the Indigo bookstore afterwards for something else to get a calendar. So in the process of doing that, after the craft show, I went there and just as I was leaving, I'm going, okay, let me look for the frames, go into the bag that I have all my stuff in there and I found out that this wasn't in there because along the way and all those booths that I went to, I had dropped this. So this was the reason why I had to go back to the craft show and then I ended up getting this, the beautiful perfume is what I went to the craft show a second time. But Tabitha wasn't there, it was her fiance. So I ended up buying it again and she was such a sweetheart. She left me an email saying that she'd like to reimburse me, but I wasn't able to get to the show a third time it was all together too much and by the time I got the email because it was a couple of days I don't always check my emails every day and it and so by the time I got the email and it goes through their one-of-a-kind system so when I answered back let her know it's okay you know I'm happy that I was able to get it again and she was so thoughtful and understand she really blessed my heart I don't think she got it because one-of-a-kind was over so I think that email system that they have might have been kind of over so anyway I'm so happy she is on Instagram she's called Dolce Artist so if you ever want to check her it's beautiful and it touched my heart just when I needed it so this is what brought me back to the to the one of a kind show the second time around thank you Tabitha we're gonna go into bees because bees are very important bees are what makes the world go round it is what fertilizes everything it is what we need and we need to cherish them and we need to encourage them to grow and this is the heritage bee company and he stood and he explained all about how they harvest the honey and what they do and I picked up the creamed wallflower honey. It doesn't have any, anti any antibiotics, unpasteurized, unfiltered, no antibiotics. And this one I picked up is the creamed honey. I already use some of it because I am a little bit of a honey addict. I have honey in the morning. I have my royal jelly and honey in the morning in my cereal and I have honey at nighttime on my bagel with cream cheese. So I am honeyed out. I think it helps to balance my hormones a bit. Definitely the royal jelly and honey, but I think honey in itself does have just a touch of those hormones that the royal jelly has, but not quite as much. So they sell a whole bunch of different flavors of honey and they sell a whole bunch of different types of honey products. And what they do do, which is really, really cool, is that they host hives so that you can do you host or we host you can do your own hosting of it but you have to live out in the country to do it or they will host a hive for you literally you will have your own hive you pay for it i think it's about 380 canadian dollars to have your own hive and they host it they do all the harvesting they take care of the bees all what you're supposed to do with a hive you have your queen bee you have your drones you have everything they the bees do their thing for you you get the honey i think it's by october you get 24 jars of honey and it will again be unpasteurized unfiltered antibiotic free 
beautiful honey that's all your own you can label it with your own personalized label and you've got 24 jars of beautiful honey and you support the honey bees the next bee products that I picked up is this one here this is called the bee savvy honey company and they are a couple they're a beekeeper couple one of them is called Matthew the head drone it's Matthew and Alicia Ott and Alicia Ott is the queen bee and they are beekeepers and they create all these body products and they're in Arn Prior, Ontario they, and they harvest their own honey beeswax and they hand pour their own products so I picked up their body scrub and I picked it up of course in the the lemongrass one no it's lemongrass eucalyptus and lavender so I picked it, this one up this one is oh it is a finer grain this one is a finer grain um, scrub but it is basically the powder scrub there isn't it's in, not in a cream base so you can mix it into a cream base or you can just take it and just do it a lot of people like to just have it dry like this and go about it like that almost like what my mom used to do in the West Indies when she was at a beach she would go and swim in the sea and then she would take the sand and she would rub her body with the sand and really polish her body so it's basically the same thing except that you're doing it with this body scrub. Okay, so what it says here, scoop one tablespoon of dry scrub into a bowl, add water, your favorite oil or honey to create a paste. Massage onto body in upward mo circular motion and rinse early with water. Ingredients, organic sugar, sucrose, sea salt, baking soda, avocado oil, honey, lemon peel, and essential oils and of course yes it should have honey because it is a honey product I can't get enough of those body scrubs then I picked up the be savvy honey lotion bar this is basically a lotion in a bomb bar it's in at this top oops and you press it up like this and then you rub it on your body it's gonna be kind of a stiff lotion right so but when you rub it into your hands Especially if you have dry hands over the winter time, let me tell you, even when you wash your hands, it probably, she said with her daughter, she has it for her daughter because her daughter suffers from sort of, some sort of like eczema or something like that. So when she puts this on, it really helps. And then on top of that, it protects her daughter's hands. So when she washes her hands, it doesn't come off. So it protects her hands from drying out. Really nice for that and creates a kind of occlusive coating but because it's got that bee wax, that's what does it, and it locks it in so you don't have trans-epidermal water loss. So it's really great. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited because I also picked up the Bee Savvy Honey Body Balm and this flavor is the vanilla Earl Grey and bergamot flavor. The cool thing, it's got the bee on the top. And when you open it up, it's so much fun because each box has a little saying on the lid. And this one says, the average life of a honeybee is just your a third, uh, what? See, there I go. I go flailing again. Average life of a honeybee is just four weeks and she will produce one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. I think that's the drones. I believe the actual queen lasts a whole bunch longer. And then this is the way it comes like this. Bergamot, vanilla, and Earl Grey. And then you got it here. And apparently a little goes a long way. It is solid and you use that on your body, your hand, wherever you want to use it. Mm, it's nice. It's earthy. It's soft, it's sweet, lovely. This is Catherine Muir Miller, Canadian storytelling artist. And she reminds me so much of the group of seven, but of course painting in her own unique style and color. Aren't these absolutely beautiful? Oh my God. So I've got to find frames for this. We talked about how she gets inspired, she paints from photographs, she goes into the wild and paints the Canadian wild. Her family loves going into the wild so they will take a lot of pictures and send them to her and she'll paint from that. She, she was able to show me from her phone some of the pictures that she painted from and showed me the painting and totally awesome to see 
how her vision transcribed from picture to painting. Really awesome the way she saw the colors in those paintings and really kind of accentuated those colors. So this is the way I was able to make things more affordable because prints of course are going to be more affordable than paintings one of these days. Then we get into the, the food situation because the other things, body care, the perfume not so much, but body care, prints, food, kind of affordable. So we're going to get into more food. This was one of them that I picked up by Esther Gould. I believe she's located in Tottenham, Ontario, called Mandelbrot. This is a type of, uh, in Italy it would be called biscotti, but this is called Mendelbrot. It's the Jewish version of a biscotti. It's a little bit more softer, a little bit more cookie-ish than typical biscotti. Biscotti and Mendelbrot came from the same source, Rome. It just spread in different areas and each culture created their version. So this is the Jewish culture's version and her logo is better than biscotti. And it's delicious because I love biscotti, but it's almost too dry when I'm feeling in the mood, but this is perfection. It's just the lovely breach between a cookie and a biscotti. And this one that I picked up is cappuccino, cappuccino chocolate. It is delicious. This came in a bow format, but I pulled the bow off because I needed to hang some sprigs of evergreen on my door and I needed the bow for that. So the bow came off, unfortunately. And this is what the biscotti, the Mendel brought, looks like. Now, they had samples of it. I mean, you can get fat just sampling the products. But me being the vigilant person that I am, hyper alert, because I've had situations where this has happened where I've eaten something, not known what was in it, not asked, and I regretted it. Something, you know, it didn't go well. So with the fact that Canada is now CBD free, we can infuse CBD and all this stuff into anything that we want to infuse it in. I kind of thought that maybe uh, the Toronto craft show might be, have already cottoned on to that and started to put them in some of their products. I don't know. I want to be careful. So when they ask, would you like to ha taste something? I ask them, is there any CBD in that? And they're kind of like, looking at me like, do I want it in there? And I'm like, no, 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 I don't want it in there. I just want to be sure that it's CBD and that kind of stuff clean before I go and put it in my mouth and start eating it because you just never know. It's now like Sephora selling a whole bunch of brands are into putting it in their facial products and in the oils and stuff. So I want to be sure. I made the mistake of asking them about it and the person behind the one that was selling to me, I think she was the owner, she got a little thrown by when I asked her, so I think she thought I was a little bit of a crazy biscuit. Of course, the wonderful salesperson said, oh, no, 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 don't worry, there's nothing like that in there. But I have to be careful. I gotta watch out for myself. I'm gonna be ingesting the darn thing. You never know. So, no, it has not hit the one of a kind yet. It is CBD and all that free. Apparently, it hasn't hit that market yet. I'm relieved. So I stopped asking that because I think I was throwing people off. So anyway, <laughs> I know I'm a little crazy. I told you I'm a little bit of a crazy biscuit. And then, cause she thought I was crazy. So I didn't ask them. This one company has been there at the one of a kind show pretty much at the inception. And this is called the Coach House Shortbread Company. It's handmade in Toronto. They have a whole bunch of flavors. They have the gourmand flavors. They have the sweet flavors. I picked up the chocolate one. Which one is this one called? This one is called Chocolate Noir and Fleur de Sel. So I picked up that one because I like my chocolate. I like chocolate chips and anything. And his name is Carl Strug. He's been baking for 25 years. His recipe had been handed down from his Scottish great grandmother. And I'm pretty much half Scottish. I did my ancestor choice. It's my ancestry DNA and my 23 and me. I fused them together because I did the most. And they both pretty much say the th same thing. I'm half African and I'm half from the Caribbean line and I'm half basically Scottish. It's probably why I like shortbread cookies so much. And let me tell you, 
I tasted a sample of it. I didn't ask them whether it has any CBD in it, and it tasted like shortbread cookies that I know to be so good. Now, I have to be honest with you. I have a recipe of shortbread cookies that I love so much. It is almost like it, and that's how I grade a shortbread cookie. How good it is to my recipe that was handed down by somebody that I used to work for, and she gave it to me, which was an amazing thing because it's quite a shortbread cookie. And this is almost like it. So I say this is a good thing. I went to the Art of Marina booth because I saw these beautiful prints of butterflies that was just kind of standing out at me. The salesperson, and she kind of found out that I butterflies mean something very special to me. She gave me this, and each of the nine butterflies have has its own meaning. One of them is hope, friendship, love, miracle, happiness, passage, peace, healing, and freedom. I picked up this, and this one is, means miracle. And in fact, I didn't even realize that there is actually a full note on the back that I just wanted to read to you because it's very special. And right now, I think I'm in a season of, I need miracles, I'm in a season of miracles. There have been very interesting things happening my way. This one is Miracle Butterfly, number four. This butterfly is a symbol of miracles, the things that you think are impossible, happening and coming true. Broken wings don't mean the inability to fly. Patience and perseverance are the keys to making miracles happen. There is beauty in impossibility as we discover our tenacity to flourish and spread our wings. And then it says strength, rebirth, manifestation. This is such an amazing message. If you're going through any difficulties, challenges, remember as that other prince said, that tells you that you're being built up to do very, very special things in life and a very special destiny. I have a heart problem that I'm still dealing with and healing from. That doesn't mean that I don't have a special purpose. It just takes a little bit more patience and tenacity. And that is what I'm doing. So this has a very special meaning to me, this miracle butterfly. I am so excited that I was able to share these beautiful finds that I got from the Toronto One of a Kind show. I kind of bought things for myself, but I kind of needed the encouragement. I do have little things for other people, but I think I picked up some really, really interesting, fun things. So much of them were encouraging. I got to help the bees a bit. Have you gone to any of these type of beautiful artisan artist craft shows this year? If you did, let me know what your discoveries were, what touched your heart, what was very special to you. I'd love to hear about it, and I know everybody else would love to hear about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all my videos, hit the bell notification button, share it with friends who might be interested, and things like this. And don't forget, rock your own kind of amazing beauty and keep on going and keep on glowing. I will. <laughs>